everyone, Melissa from Fresh Blooming Clothing here, and I am so sorry, first of all, that I still don't know how to edit videos. So the first second or two, I'm always shifting and moving, so eventually I'm sure I'll figure out how to do it, but don't want to put the time into that. I went to the Goodwill bins this morning. Our local bins are Sarasota, Florida, and clothing is $1.69 a pound. And I feel like they used to be better. It's not like I've been down here thrifting for all that long. It's been probably about 10, 11 months since my body is able to do the bins. And even so, I probably only go about once a month. But it's a little shady sometimes. And by that, I don't mean gross, like there's poop or blood or animals or anything like that. I'm just not keen on how they are putting out clothing. Sometimes I go and there's no clothing. Sometimes the bins don't get switched out for hours. Sometimes people are just complaining and fighting and we have a very large Haitian population that goes to the bins and most of the people are so sweet there, uh, Haitian or non-Haitian. And sometimes they seem to just scoop up everything and then they go through it later. They are sending most of the clothing out of the country, which I appreciate so much. These people are there day after day, hardworking and awesome, but sometimes fights break out. So today was just one of those days when most people left very early because the bins just looked not great. So with all of that said, all those disclaimers, I spent $28 and here's what I got. The first is a small fossil handbag. It is kind of a straw bag, very cute. It's in awesome condition. And I can't imagine this going for more than 10 or so dollars in the summer, but I think I paid about a quarter for it, so well worth it. The first thing I found um, when they let us in at eight o'clock and I was there a little bit early this morning, a lot of the people go right to the newer stuff and I don't like to do that because I can't walk that fast yet. And even though I was feeling okay thanks to some pain pills, I went to the other side so nobody was on the other side. And I found these Allegria shoes. They're not perfect, but they're really cute. They're kind of a blue on blue floral pattern. Um, the soles are in really good shape. Allegria is one of those brands that you can kind of, they're comfy and you can stand on your feet a long time. A lot of nurses wear them. They're sold on QVC. They run about 100, 150. So I might be able to get, I don't know, I've got to clean them up, maybe 30 bucks for these. They're a size 40, which is my size, but I usually don't wear closed in shoes. Next up is a trivet. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these shells but it's really pretty, it's very sparkly. Uh, it says hot plate on the back. I have no idea what I, I'll get for this. I didn't look it up, but I thought, when I got to the checkout, the lady who was there, I love this lady, she's there every day, and um, she kind of just looks at your cart, and she does weigh the clothing and the linens, but she looks at the rest of the cart, she's like, okay, $5 for everything. So. When she's there, I know I can kind of put stuff like this in my cart, and I probably paid maybe 10 cents for it. So, cute. Next up are some flip-flop straws. I send care packages to my 8-year-old niece and some other people. I've got a pen pal in Pennsylvania who's 11, and these will be going in one of those boxes in the summertime. Okay, now I got all of these gift bags, and these are the bags that stores pass out for free, um, so usually people don't pick them up, and these are things I pick up and resell, especially during the holidays. I say especially during the holidays, like I've been doing it for so long, but um, I looked them up. They seem to be selling. People like to gift things that are in the original packaging. So this one is Gucci. I'm going to go through them quickly. I have Pandora. I have Louis Vuitton. Michael Kors. Two more Gucci. Vineyard Vines. I might include this. I have a Vineyard Vines item right now, so I might just include this with that purchase. 
and that would make the person a little bit happier with their item, in my opinion. I lot these up, so Lululemon, Armani, Kate Spade. I have a ton of Abercrombie. Abercrombie. Um, what do I have here? Seven, I think. And these look brand new. So I'll lock those up. I don't know if they'll sell. I don't know if anybody will buy them. But I have sold gift bags before, and I do pretty decent. Ha! I thought these were trash bags. They are not. Anything I can use for our own house that I can kind of use up and look new, I purchase. So I thought these were trash bags. And like I said, the lady just looks at the cart and gives you a price. So it, it's almost free. That's what I always tell my husband. It was like 50 cents to almost free. But these are drop cloths, which we could have used when we were painting and redoing our house. But we'll put them, in, we have a, a paint tote with all of our paintbrushes and stuff. So I'll put those in there. Some Care Bears gift wrap, which again will probably go to my eight year old niece to wrap some of her stuff. Somebody gave me this. Um, I thought that was really nice. I got a whole bunch of cardstock. I didn't bring that, I already put that in the printer. So I probably got two packs of cardstock, and the guy who saw me buying the cardstock gave me this. At Hobby Lobby, it was $13, and again, it'll probably go to my niece. It's just a whole bunch of paper. It's brand new. Just different colors and different assortments of kind of sketch paper, calligraphy paper. Thought that was pretty cool. A Walkman-style cassette player. These looked new too, and we can use them for paper clips and just little things in the house. I was like organization. I thought this was a cigarette holder. It is not. My husband says it's an incense holder, but it says it was made in Israel. It's super heavy. I'm guessing brass. I don't know. A whole bunch of these pineapples. Let's see if I can put them in here. And they're really heavy too, they're well made. And I think they're place card holders because they have a little slit in them for a, a card. And there's a set of eight of them. And again, this was just at the bottom of a bin. They're so pretty. If we had sit down events, I would keep them because we live in Florida and we kind of have a beachy house. Not kind of, we absolutely have a beachy house. I have a couple of these, I don't know where the rest went, but Tape measures. I can always use these for measuring clothing on eBay. This is a Melissa and Doug fashion plate. I think that's what they used to call them. I'll try to hold this up. So basically you put paper in it and then you use this crayon thing to rub the fashion plates and they create um, dolls and designs that you can color. And this will absolutely be going to my niece and it has the paper and I'll put a brand new set of crayons with it. And my sister and I used to have these, I guess in the 80s, early 90s, and we loved ours. So this was a fun find for her. <laughs> An Ikea pig looked brand new. I will wash him. I don't know what it'll go for, but he's so cute. Oh, elastic tail. Whole bunch of ribbon. I think this is some kind of flag. I want to say Jamaica, but I'll use that to tie off eBay packages. And some Sorel, I think that's how you pronounce that, boots. They're a smaller women's size, but they do have the kind of wool felt inserts. They're a decent shape. They need a really good cleaning, so I put them in a separate bag. But their shoes are, I think, a buck. 50 for boots and 75 cents for like regular shoes or sandals, I'm pretty sure. So that was a pretty good find. And the last non-clothing item, I think, is a Pottery Barn Kids it upside down, sheet. This is a twin sheet and it has baseball characters. Pottery Barn does pretty well and limits in general if they're a brand name like Ralph Lauren does really well especially the older label Ralph Lauren uh, that's made in the USA. Sometimes for sheet sets, even used sheet sets, you can get $50, $100 or, or more if they're a, 
a brand and a print that is recognizable. Pottery Barn does well. Pottery Barn Kids does a little bit uh, not as great as Pottery Barn, less well. But this one will probably bring for a used sheet maybe 10 or 15 bucks plus shipping. And linens are 50 or 59 cents a pound. So this is definitely less than a pound. Um, so I probably paid 50 cents for it. Okay, clothing. Not that much clothing today. And what clothing was there was kid clothing, which I don't do great with. Um, and the kid clothing that was there was like Carter's, Walmart, Oshkosh brand. And it looked trash. It didn't even look great for like play clothing. So what I found <laughs> is not the best. And I only have like 10 pieces, but here we go. Pine Cone Hill. This is a soft robe. It is melted, missing the belt. But um, when I find decent robe belts and just sash belts in general at Goodwill Bins, I pick them up and save them for things like this. So I've recognized the name, Pine Cone Hill. I think they're a catalog in an online brand. But it looks like these robes, this one will absolutely be washed. Um, go for about 20, 30 bucks. And clothing, like I said, I think it's a buck sixty-nine a pound there. And unfortunately, like some of the bins, they don't um, discount if you get twenty or thirty pounds, which is probably better for me because there's not too much clothing there. And I definitely didn't get. Well, I might have gotten twenty pounds, but um, so I paid probably two dollars for this. And like I said, maybe twenty bucks, thirty bucks. Somebody did donate their Chico's, and Chico's is kind of hit or miss, but these were dark denim indigo shorts by Chico's Platinum, which I think is an older label, and they're size 2, which is the equivalent of about a large. Again, everything needs washed. Spa by Chico's in a size 2, and this is a crushed velvet hoodie. And I didn't look this stuff up. The internet there usually isn't great, but it was pretty good today. So I put back a lot of stuff that was only going to bring me five, ten bucks and just focused on this stuff, which I'll be excited to list. Even if it only brings five or ten bucks, I'll at least be excited to list it. So Spa by Chico's. This might bring twenty dollars if I get it on quickly for the holidays. I found this. And I thought, oh, I'd really like to find those. And then I found them. So they are fleece Wellington socks. You put them inside of boots. And I didn't look them up, but they are brand new. They're still attached, and you could just tell they're new. So I'll put them back through the little slot, and I might get 10 bucks for them. We'll see. Another good name, if you can find it, is Soft Surroundings. I don't think they have stores. I think they're just a catalog and an online brand. This is kind of a beach cover-up with some crochet. It's like a poncho cover-up. Somebody threw this back and I don't know why because even though it's white and normally things in the bins are stained if they're white, this one's in really good shape. Again, I'll wash it, but I might get 20 or 30 bucks for that. A vintage scarf. This weighs almost nothing. And I really liked it. It's definitely large enough to be a sarong or a head wrap. And it does have the label. It looks like it's from the 50s. It doesn't have a brand, but it's probably not going to focus on that. Sorry about that. But it's in perfect condition. It doesn't have hand rolled sides. So it was created by a machine, a sewing machine, but pretty nonetheless. This is a Lily Pulitzer. It's their older label. It's like 90s, 2000s. And it has lemon slices, citrus slices, which I thought was pretty perfect condition. It's a size zero, which isn't the best. And I might get 10 or 15 bucks of this. If it was the better label and a more recognizable print, you might get 30, 40 bucks. But 90s label, yeah. 
These I probably paid two or three dollars for because they are men's. I think they're men's. And they are diesel. I didn't see any of the <laughs> relax, I don't know, wash. But um, again, thought I would pick them up. I did look them up. Might get 20, 30 bucks for them. They've got a distressed interesting style. They do say they were made in Italy. So that was pretty cool. Next up is a vintage piece. It's tiny too. It's definitely tiny. But it does have a metal zipper. It's kind of a check gingham long dress. It needs cleaned. And with vintage I put them in a Rubbermaid tub. Um, I guess it's a Sterilite tub. In the bathtub and fill it up with water and soap and just soak things like that so I don't have to fill up the whole bathtub and waste water. And this one definitely needs a good soaking. I'm guessing 50s. It does have a label. Miami Guild Embroidery Resort Wear Florida something. Pretty, right? If it was my size I was going to say I'd keep it. There's no way I'd ever wear anything like this. I wear very soft cottony pieces. Levi's. They're shorts. Who knows if they were originally shorts. They're Levi Levi's 501. And I am speaking fast today because my husband is going to be back any minute and take uh, the car to the shop. So I want to make sure I film this while the house is quiet. So the company Streets Ahead took these and added some embellishments. And I think there was only one pair on for $40 or $50 similar to this. I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell I have sometimes no idea what I'm doing? I do pretty well on eBay. I'm not a seller that does like $4 million a year. But I have been doing eBay off and on for, well, I really should look. I think the account was started in 1999 and I started selling 2001 or 2002, I think. Um, so I have done this full time before. I'm very part time now because of my health and I am doing well health wise, but I still just can't do it full time. So cute. Have I said everything is cute and comfy? Probably. Next up is Barbara Lesser fibers. She's kind of an artsy, lagging look designer. Oh, got a little thread there. Tie-dye, asymmetrical hem. This kind of extra piece of fluttery material down the front. Again, great condition. Size medium. It's not really the season for this at the end of November. But you never know, somebody might be going on a cruise or a holiday uh, vacation, and maybe 30 bucks. Okay, only a few pieces left. Jay Peterman, which my husband said uh, there's a character in Seinfeld, I'm sure you know, I didn't watch Seinfeld a lot, that worked for Jay Peterman, and Jay Peterman had the best catalogs. I've gotten my hands on a few Jay Peterman catalogs, and their write-ups were just, their descriptions were so good. This has little tiny seashells and was made in India. And it's kind of a cropped jacket with long sleeves. I don't know that I'll wash this one. Let's see what it says. Dry clean only. I might soak this. It's pretty hardy. But Jane Peter Rin has done pretty well for me. These Pieces are usually unique and cool looking and not something you would find at like Macy's nowadays. So people who like J. Peterman collect it and this one will do pretty well. Okay, only a few more things left. I got this. I think I'm going to put, we have brushes that are on sticks, dish wands. They're probably called dish wands. Um, underneath the sink, they're brand new and our color is very much aqua. We have a lot of aqua in our house, so this looks brand new. I don't know, like I said, it's probably a quarter or so. 
And the last piece, awesome name. This is definitely something to look out for. I don't think I have ever found this name. This jacket is in awful condition, <laughs> but it still looks like it'll do decent. Um, even the jackets that were kind of ruined and trashed like this in this name we're probably going for between $20 and $30. So I might put this on auction for $0.99. Cents. Marmot? Marmo? I don't know. Their outerwear pieces are hundreds of dollars and sometimes more. This jacket is more of a nylon windbreaker and it has stains, so it'll definitely be washed. I don't think the marks are going to come out. It looks like somebody almost painted it in it. I don't know who would do that, somebody with a lot more money than me, but uh, I thought I would take a chance on this one. And that's everything I got at the bins, $28.84 for everything, and I'm without a car for a little bit, so this will keep me for at least a week or so once I wash everything, steam everything, put it on a mannequin, or flat lay it. And, I don't know, I enjoyed my time there. I always love going to the bins if I'm feeling well enough. Uh, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. Though shopping is probably one of my least favorite parts of eBay. I love listing just because I can sit, be in my own little world, type really fast. I also like shipping, which I didn't like, used to like. But since I've gotten a label banker, it makes it go much easier than if you are taping on labels. So I would recommend either a label maker or Avery, I think it's the brand name that puts out like address labels. They make printable half sheet labels that work really well with eBay and that just makes life a lot easier. And lastly, I thought I would take you on a little tour of the house like I normally do. Our tilers are finished. This was I think the first week without anybody here in the mornings making a ton of noise. So we're still working on a few little projects, mostly my husband, around the house. So here it is, here's a look at our house. Flip the camera around, try to go slow so nobody gets dizzy. Okay, so you've already seen, if you've watched my videos, you've already seen kind of the laundry room, the bathroom, this is our kitchen. Again, we live in a villa in Florida, and here's our desk area. And this wall has a command hook where I hang my hanging mannequin, and this is usually where I do all of my photos. So I just put a dress form here and take photos. And here's the tile. It looks tan in some lights and gray in some lights. We really like it. I shut the master bedroom because it is a wreck. And then here is our lanai. So when the villa was made, they had outdoor lanais and now they're indoor, thankfully with air condition. And this is where I keep all of my eBay things. And then in this closet, hopefully it's not a mess. Oh, it's a little messy. Are all of our tools. My husband is very organized. And then my eBay boxes and some eBay materials. And then on the other side, it's my husband's workout room. And that's where I'm going to cut it off. And I'm sorry, so quick today. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.